Hey there, this is Lowe's. In this video, um, we are going to look at my PVE skill build for two hand wizard. So let's look at what I have over here. Um, let's go through from the top. Okay. So as a two handed or as a wizard itself, one of our bread and butter, I would say, is to have firewall. That gives out the protection from mobs that is coming near to us while we are channeling our skills to deal damage so this actually help us so much we can probably afk without using any hp pot maybe maybe sp pot depends if let's say our back is hitting 50 percent above we might need some sp pot but hp pot if we have life steal right now we should have life steal right now because of our shadow equipment so having firewall it's really really great so this is something that we must have or all of us should actually have it okay now as a two hand wizard uh, what we need to look out for is that if we are planning to play pure fire it is not going to be very efficient in terms of farming because there is only so much uh, skills in terms of fire skills that we have and when it comes to AOE, we only have Fireball and we have Fire Pillar and then Meteor Storm. That's it. No more other skills. Unlike the uh, Water and Wind style, there's so much more skills to play with that we can rotate and deal constant damage. As a Fire build, we pretty much only can depend on Meteor Storm. Okay, in the past it's not a really a great idea, but now maybe yes, we shall explain why later in this video. Um Meteor Storm is one of the highest damage dealing AoE that we have as a wizard. But it's a fire skill, we need to channel it. Okay, the channeling is isn't like channel and then cast. We have to stand there and channel for three seconds. Till the skill finishes the animation before we can cast any other skill so yes it's a very high damaging skill but there's a con for it that we have to channel for three seconds without able to do anything so uh, for myself although i'm two-handed wielder i use more of the water and wind style to do my grinding to do my farming right so i have Level 10 Stone Gas, uh, anything that is prerequisite, I leave it at level 5 because I don't use it at all. And then SP Recovery, Max, so Drain just level 1 to activate the additional, you know, Magic Attack by Max SP divided by 100. So that adds a little bit, okay. If you want to max it out, if you have additional skill point at the end of the day, you want to get it to max, well, yeah, by all means. Energy code uh, as a standby for emergency, especially in uh, instance where you need to have the additional reduction of damage. If let's say you are in a tight situation where you can't run into safety, so this come in handy. There, down we have uh, on the wind portion. Jupiter Thunder just five to unlock Lord of a Million. Okay, and then Shen Landing 10. Other than that, I don't have anything on it. On the Ghost, Napalm Beat, this is one great filter skill in between of the rotation that adds into the damage dealing, especially after casting LOV and Chain Lightning because of Napalm Beat to probably clear off the remaining HP of the mobs, depending on what you're killing, right? Anything below that, don't have nothing. Meteor Storm, nope. Abyssal, nope. Earth skills, all don't have. Uh, especially for gravitational, we need one gemstone to cast. So I usually just only use it for PvP. So PvE wise, no, I'm not going to use it. Earth Spike, no, because if I would do. For, okay, for skills like Earth Spike and Frost Nova. It is only recommended if you are putting your character to AFK in place. 
Otherwise, having them in the AFK of the whole map mode, your character will tend to run towards the mob and cast it instead of staying afar, fully maximizing the range that a wizard should have to cast and deal damage. These two skills as will need to be up close and point blank. So as a farming sake, no, nope, I don't pump it. And then now, now we have the Warlock skill. Uh, these two passive, no need to say too much about them. Increasing our range, which is great. We need the further range we have, the better it is. Getting more penetration is great for grinding, for mob, for boss, whatever it is. And then on this portion, the goals uh, part, nothing on it because I don't need them at all for grinding sake. Uh, distorted Earth, nope, nothing because I'm more I'm using more of the wind and water in this uh, skill build. So Confusion Storm is great because it comes with the induction inductive current, which allow electrified enemy to be receiving damage after they are being hit by wind skill so having confusion storm in combination with LOV and then chain lightning this is the effect With this combo, you are just seeing damage counter flying everywhere. You can't even make out what is the number, but you can see that mob can be cleared pretty fast if the combo stacks together. So this tool skill is great for PvE, even though we are a two-handed wizard that is more meant for earth and fire playstyle. But you know, when, as far as efficiency is in concern, uh, for grinding, I feel that water wind is still but the best because we can cast constantly and having skills layer on top of each other as much as possible okay so now further down we have a frosty mist this is something that i i'm trying out uh, for the new uh, job skills so this is something that i have a taste of it to play with so casting this skill deal no damage but it will change the armor of the enemy to water and upon being hit the target will freeze so as you can see from the example just now uh, the first skill that I cast is frosty miss and then by napalm beat so as long as there's less than eight or a maximum of eight targets all of them will be frozen and then followed by this combo skill we should activate inductive current like you'll be seeing splashes of damage counter coming up and then further on freeze again and then i cast wind skill again to activate the passive one more time all right so this is the combo that i have and then for the fire skills for the warlock part sadly we only have these two skills so this is something that i use to run away so this becomes a, like a run away skill and then for flame ward, this is something that I will recommend to have at max because these skills give us a HP shield that allows us to tank more damage. So the higher HP you have, the better it is. So as a two-handed wizard, naturally we are already low in HP. So if we don't have any VIT uh, stats in place or we do not have enough uh, HP cut in place, we will be losing out a lot or, the, or these skills will not be as effective as it should be but as a one-handed wizard, you have no problem your uh, one-handed wizard's HP can easily double of uh, two-handed so this is something uh, very advantageous of them but as a two-handed wizard, yes, we, we can still hit high uh, HP just that we need to have more uh, effort into you know 
getting the HP cards, refining our armor, upgrading our armor, as well as making sure we have the remaining stats points into VIT. Alright, now the last skill that I have is Elemental Enhancement because this is something that gives us a total of 20% damage boost in accordance to the element of a skill or element that we are casting. So each element has a maximum of 4. So in, in my case right now in this build, it's a 4 wind, 4 water. So upon stacking up to 4 orbs, that gives me 20% damage increase for both elements. So this is very, very sweet. Okay. Now, uh, this is my my usual build for my grinding. But of course, I know that uh, one of you has commented that you, you want to see a PvE build for fire. Now, as I uh, explained earlier on, fire isn't very... Uh, effective or efficient right now it before I would say sorry but right now after being a warlock things may maybe for a change right maybe for a change so I've prepared a skill tree over here this is not the final one I'm just playing around to see what uh, what works but what I'm going to do for for your sake, if you're watching this, right, and I'm, I'm sure that you'll be watching this, for your sake, I will be doing a reset over here. So everything back to square one. Okay, I'm going to rebuild this fire, a PvE fire build for you. And I myself going to test it out, okay, with, with this build, just for fun, to see how, how it goes. But let's get a build start right now. Okay, here we go. This is pretty much the build, the basic build of a fire or a fire earth mixture with a ghost, or you can call it this a, this a fire earth ghost build, right? It's a mixture, or with wind as well. So, uh, the reason, well, let's go through why I put it this way because based on my experience, well, these are uh, needless to say. So, let's go down to um here so fire pillar is one of the uh, skills that actually deal a burst damage when the target is being ignited so it's being burned so hey, casting fire pillar on a burned target will have an explosion so if today we are dealing uh, a group of mob with fire skills chances are we are going to set them with kindle so that have with the burn damage so after which hitting them with fire pillar will create a burst aoe damage on them especially when there is a, a burn target so for now i'm using level 5 fire pillar for just in case but i still have a lot of uh, skill points left so let's see what we can do later on now next is a kindle, needless to say, additional 50% to ignite the enemy and deal 20% damage, burn damage of casters magnetic per second and additional 10% more fire damage. So this is a must max. And now for Meteor Storm, as I said just now, this skill is not very uh, efficient. No, I'm not really say not efficient because the damage is really really high but it's not very flexible yes not very flexible in terms of uh, casting and in time of danger there's no way out of this skill in the previous patch uh, the developer actually allowed us to walk away and cancel the skill but on with the most recent or, or latest patch is back to a stationary mode where we can't do anything during the channeling. So 3.5 seconds of channeling is quite long, but we summon 
7 Meteor to rain down and we have a chance to stun the target so that probably give us a good uh, survivability when it comes to farming because mobs can be stunned so that actually uh, allow us to stay away from danger quite a bit okay and then now pump bit again if let's say in any case meteor storm isn't able to clear off the mob there you have a napalm bit to do additional damage we have fire pillar to do additional damage and then now we have the wind skill i get all the way down to chain lightning this is a to me usually this skill can either perform a, a fi final kill to the mobs or you can use this to lure the mobs okay so chain lightning is a very versatile and good skill and also is a high damaging skill when it comes to farming so i have that at level 10 so that i can lure mobs okay we're gonna do a test in real with this build to see how effective it is okay and then for abyssal swarm needless to say to deal more damage with fire skills you need to change the armor of the mob to earth okay so that will give us additional boost then for the warlock skills i have the distorted earth reason being uh, if you realize meteor storm doesn't cast in a particular spot unlike lord of a million and storm gas where it's a one area aoe casting of skill but for meteor storm is a little bit of here and there it doesn't cast on one spot or one area it casts a little bit of left and right so later on we'll, we'll have a look at it so having distorted earth which allow us to petrify the enemy so stopping them from moving but at the same time we will force the target to the center of the attack so gathering every mob that is within the range of the skill right in the middle and then we cast uh, meter storm raining down on them so this is what i built up with so, so far no other skills that i am doing uh, elemental enhancement for sure maxed out uh, these two skill for sure maxed out so let's put it up okay let's see um, i will have to do this first. So this build seems like there is very very a little skills to play. So one concern that I have is the rotation of the skill. Whether is it going to be smooth? Is it going to be uh, efficient enough to do damage dealing, uh, loading of mobs? So let's see what it goes. We have the skills and then now we will be imagining we are going to do a cast so gathering mob together first and then changing their armor to earth immediately cast meteor storm and then if let's say meteor storm couldn't kill off or there's balance of mob uh, left on the field because of the respawn if that was the case then we can have the pump bit to deal some damage and then we have a fire pillar to deal burn explosive damage because high chance after getting hit by meteor storm the mob will be burned okay and then hitting them with fire pillar will deal explosive damage and why i do this uh, arrangements because the pump bit has a four second cooldown but fire pillar has three seconds so if this is the rotation the skills can actually be quite smooth i would say okay and then last one would be chain lightning to clear off 
any re any remaining after this barrage of skills and of course to lure new mobs in okay let's see what we have mm, i think that's about it uh, we don't need to put flame attack we don't really use it much but i still have 38 skill points left now with this build that's this is the uh case that we will be left with quite a fair amount of uh, skill points to play with fireball i'm not very keen of fireball because it's not a very high damaging skill although it's an aoe but it's a very small aoe um it can be a filler right it can be a filler but if i were to do so i would probably let's max out fire pillar okay yeah i think i think that's about it we still have 33 skill points left but never mind Okay, so this is the end for my PvE skill build. So this is usually what I farm. And this is the new skill build that I use just for the request. Okay, so if you haven't seen my uh, my review of my two-handed wizard build, make sure to click on the video. Or if you want to look at my PvP skill build as of current, click on the other one all right so with that end of this skill build for pve as a two-handed wizard see you again next time or see you in the next video bye bye